played over a thousand days of Lego Fortnite, and today I'm going to show you everything I've been able to accomplish in that time frame. As you can see here today, we are at my main village surrounded by all of the rarest villagers in Lego Fortnite. We've got Yeti and Frozen Fish Stick at this one, but as you can see at the top of my screen, this is the third village out of, uh... I think I have like 11. There's like 11 or 12 villages in this world. Today, we're going to tour every single one starting at our original village. Now, in order to get to this village, we have to fly super, super far. So I'm at the max height that you can be in LEGO Fortnite. And if we zoom out on our map and scroll all the way down, you actually still can't see where my village is. It's that far away. Anyway, welcome to the channel. I'm doing a daily LEGO Fortnite survival series. And if you've ever watched it, you will have recognized the village that I did the intro of this video in. It's my main village. But like I said, I have two more that I've never shown on camera before and we're gonna go visit them right now for the first time also while we're doing our flying method to get back to our base as fast as possible I wanted to say thank you for 900,000 subscribers it's genuinely a dream come true and we are super close to a million which is just insane to say and if you're not yet subscribed subscribe so you can say you were here before a million hashtag OG status oh Okay, we're lagging. Hopefully we don't die. And, uh, oh, nice. Okay. Well, in this video, I'm also planning on showing you every single thing that I've learned in these 1,000 days. And I guess it's a great time to talk about the first one, which is when you get the stamina bug. Probably the most annoying thing in the game. Now, getting rid of the stamina bug is pretty simple. There's two ways to do it. You can either get eliminated, which I'm actually not going to do. I'm going to back out. Oh boy, and I don't know if you can see the smoke up in the sky, but it's a rainy day and we are arriving to our number one village. Literally the first village I ever made in this game. The reason I abandoned this one so quick, and I'll tell you this right off the bat, is because as a noob, I really struggled to walk up this hill. I didn't really know how to build yet, and yeah, it was hard to get up this hill, so I abandoned this one super quick, but as we arrive here, this is the entire village. Wait, where is the village square? Oh, I just realized there's not even a village square anymore. What happened to it? All I have is a map marker apparently, but there used to be a village here, I promise you. And luckily, every single moment I've played of LEGO Fortnite has been on video. So what you're seeing on screen right now is me finding this area for the first time and trying to figure out what I'm doing. I mean, I have no idea. Just look at this footage. I, I'm lost. Like, why am I putting down a lumber mill before I have a village or any tools? <laughs> I'm just clicking through the menus and trying to figure out how to build. Ah, oh, good times. I'm using shack walls, which were the only walls I had. And the last part that I wanted to show off in this OG footage was me actually putting down the village square. Here's me picking the color and throwing it down and getting my first ever village. But yeah, in present day, there's not much to see here, but there are some vines in this chest that I'm actually going to take because even after a thousand days, I'm still down bad and I don't have any vines. We still got a lot to get to. Let's move on to village number two. And what you would be interested to know is I moved from the grasslands over to the shore biome and right around this corner, is village number two. Let's drop down here and take a look at it. Again, I don't know what happened, but my village squares are just all gone. But luckily, you know me, content always comes first. So I was recording the moment that I put down this village along with everything that I built out here. Unfortunately, in the present day, like you guys already kind of saw, none of this stuff really exists anymore. But it is nice that we have all of this OG footage along with me actually upgrading a shore biome. I genuinely knew nothing about the game at this point, And you can kind of see it by the way I'm moving through these menus. I am so lost and fast forwarding to present day this is all that remains let's go through these chests and see what's left it's genuinely nothing good at all and if you want to know the reason that i actually built this village it was because there were these pre-built chests here and i really wanted them at the time anyway not much to see so let's get over to our next village and it's about to get dark but we have arrived to village number three i'm gonna back out again so i can get daytime for this but as this loads back in you'll notice that it looks a lot different than it used to here's footage from the second ever video I uploaded on YouTube. This was probably only day 50 of me playing this game. And man, yeah, <laughs> it used to be a different place. You know, the floor is more unfinished than it was a long time ago. And also there's no more walls, but I'm going to put a little bit of the blame on Lego Fortnite and the warning at the top of my screen. But now that we're at the villages that actually kind of have building in it, I can give you quick tours. And later this week, I'm actually planning on doing a follow-up video where I kind of go through these villages again and upgrade them because I haven't put much thought into the design in a while. Obviously in my bedroom, I have the kitchen with storage i have the cabinets and things like that i also got my personal chest my bed and a little table but yeah still a lot i have on my to-do list for this village specifically over here is our restaurant with no design other than a chest and as you can see this is the most valuable chest i have in all of this game because it has all of my cheese moving over to the most iconic of the buildings we have the dojo that holds a lot of my workstations as well as all of my storage if i can get up there and this guy moves i swear the villagers in this game just always get in your way but yeah we got our storage with all of our stuff as you can see every 
everything is completely organized by chest and by item. I have absolutely zero granite. I'm also running low on frost pine and flex wood. So there's still a few things I got to get. But if we come up to the top floor, this is where my villagers beds are. Not much to see there. It's just where Yeti, Fistic, and I believe Peely hang out. And then we got the most recent addition, which is the towers. You can come up here to this middle section with a bridge, or you can go to the very, very top. For the moment, they're just kind of lookout towers. These towers used to be yellow, made out of the Pleasant Park prefab, but now they match the village theme more, and we put them up there, just as a little nod to the OG tower. Anyway, that's about it from this one, but if you could see behind this village, there's something else back there. And yeah, that's about it from this village. Last thing is the target board, which now that I think about it, I haven't tried to hit a trick shot in a while. All right, target's right there. We're going to do this first try. We're going to grapple 360. Oh, wait, no way I hit it. Oh, you know, I don't know how many points you get for that one. I don't know. I've always said if I hit the bullseye, you guys have to subscribe. I hit the outside. So maybe like just drop a like or something. Anyway, enough fooling around. Let's get to our next village, which like I already hinted at is right over here in the desert. One of two desert villages that we currently have in this world. And this one is a level 10 village. And it was also my first big mansion project. As you can see, we have this gorgeous staircase that I'm still very proud of. Unfortunately, I never finished the interior because once I started getting the the building warning over at that village i was scared that this was causing the error so yeah i kind of stopped detailing this but i think at this point i could probably get back to it i honestly don't care anymore plus there's no warning this is my bedroom here which at one point was my main bedroom and speaking of which i'm actually just going to make this my main spawn point again we got our books and all of our little plants as well as a nice living room with a couch where i can watch the television we got our books we got some storage and we got our full bathroom with a bathtub and then of course we got a 180 balcony where you can see a lot of our world here pretty nice if you come through the main corridor you have this room over here as well which is petra's room and to be honest i'm doing emotes so that they could show up here but i honestly haven't seen a single villager here in a long time besides that not much else to see here this used to be a railway station right here that led us back to that village but it broke so yeah that's our desert mansion we've got a lot more level 10 villages to get to in this video we're not even halfway done yet so let's take you over to our next one and while we're doing it i actually want to explain something now this is going to be the first time i'm ever doing math on this channel but it's going to make a lot of sense and i got the stamina bug again anyway while i'm in the lobby hear me out a day in lego fortnite is 15 minutes and I currently have 321 hours plus 25 minutes of playtime. That equals out to 19,281 minutes. And you get this number here, which is the amount of days that I've played in LEGO Fortnite. 1,285. So the title is actually less than what I've actually played. It's kind of disgusting. Now here is our most infamous village, the abandoned shipwreck village, aka the ocean village. Oh, there's a lot of history with this one. It's also my most popular video of all time. So shout out to you if you've watched that one. But we got our epic crafting bench here it just started raining they really wanted to set the mood for this one but yeah as you can see there's a lot of stuff off in the water as well which kind of adds to the vibe but over here we got our first working shed where we could invite villagers to cook us food also work on the lumber mill and store all of the food in the chest the only problem is although this village is level 10 it's completely glitched and no villagers will actually stay here so we're all alone and we also have no food so yeah we're surviving on our own rations here but moving around this place we got a shed with a stone breaker epic crafting bench in the work shed like i've already shown you you guys you can come up this way for a diving board or i guess you would call this the plank you know like walk the plank like the pirates do or whatever just a fun little addition but if you come up here onto the main lookout tower you're met with a cozy little barbecue as well as my bedroom you get beautiful views when you sleep sometimes you see a rainbow out in the distance sometimes you see a thunderstorm but it's always a good time out here definitely one of my favorite villages and the newest addition to it is of course the pirate ship floating out here in the ocean we can grapple over to it and my favorite part of this has to be the nest up here in the back you can go up or you can come under where you can grab oh wait i actually low-key need this stuff and i'm never here so i'm just gonna steal it but yeah that's that if you come up to the front we got our golden llama you know he's the real captain of the ship and that's basically it from village number seven did i skip one maybe i'm going out of order but there's a lot more to get to including one right there so yeah, not too far, we have our Boardwalk Village. And this right here is one out of the two most recent projects that I've started building. So you won't be too impressed with this one. We got a lumber mill and of course a crafting bench, although this one isn't even upgraded. Ooh, we got some more pumpkin pies. We'll steal those. But not much here except for one lonely bed, or I guess two. One's for me and one's for our villager. Got some storage as well as a deck that you can look out to. And there's also the rainbow. There's always that rainbow that spawns in the same spot. That's why I mentioned it. But where is Beef Boss? I just saw 
Um, ah, there he is. Did I ever give him a job? No, I didn't. Why didn't I give him a job? I'm gonna give him a food job. I'm gonna tell him to cook food. I unfortunately don't have the stuff for an oven, so I'm gonna plop down a grill. So next time I come here, I'm met with a nice surprise, which is hopefully some good food. Anyway, I think we're about halfway through our villages. We got a few more to get to. You know, when you play a thousand days of Lego Fortnite and there's only really been one big update, you gotta entertain yourself with these village builds. But we're back up at the top, basically where we started this video because we now have to move over to the snow biome. It's not too far. And as per usual, we're using our little gliding technique that if you don't know how to do yet, is super simple. You just continuously tap to plot your glider and follow it up with a pickaxe swing. And as you can see, the stamina lasts a lot longer than if you were to just glide. Like I said, I wanna give you guys a few tips in this video and that's one that I find super, super useful. And we're gonna go to the village that's right in front of me. It's not even rendered in yet, but before we do, I see a cave here and I'm interested to know if this is a snow cave. Let's see. Oh, it is. This is a brand new cave that I haven't explored that's basically in the grasslands biome, but it's a snow cave. I'll definitely be remembering that one for later, but for now, we have this. The first snow village we ever created. Level 10, of course. This was the one we used to actually unlock the dojo gallery. And this one was an absolute grind. If you haven't seen this video, it was a fun one to make because I was still learning everything about the game and I definitely wasn't good yet. So I had to overcome a lot of adversity with this one. Now it's empty, but before there was chests and stuff inside of it, there's still a few. You know, nothing really good inside of here. But if we come up to the top floor, um, yeah, there's also really nothing good up here. Like I said, this one was a grind and that was about it. And I actually reused all of these grand chests from the pre-built structure that spawned here, but not much to see. And there's way cooler villages that I have in the snow. So let's already get over to the next one. You can see Mount Everest off in the distance. And if you've been watching the series recently, you know about what I'm gonna go to there. Before we get to Mount Everest though, there's a few other villages in the snow that I need to show you. And I honestly think as I got to the snow biome, I really started leveling up with my builds. And this one is no exception because this is our Christmas village village. The worst part about it is the Christmas tree. If I could redo it, I would. But now it's just kind of cemented there and it's part of my history in this game. So I feel like I can't remove it. But yeah, the Christmas tree looks a little wonky. Other than that, taking a look around this village, it's pretty nice. We've got the log cabin vibe with all of these nice walkways to different areas. We have our garden with nice plants growing, storage within the garden. And then all of our actual storage is under the Christmas tree as presents. I thought that was a pretty nice touch. There's this upper walkway section, but if you want to, you can also come under it and there's a secret little hidden tunnel and going through this we got our stone breaker in here you know i always hide my stone breakers in my worlds one of my favorite little cabins that i've built because it's all made out of roofs and i thought it was super interesting to make we got a bridge that connects it to another cabin as well in this one we got our wood cutter and some more storage and then we got the main log cabin also we got Maisie, who i've heard is one of the hardest villagers to find i'm not sure if that's true because she's not a very good villager let's see how's your job let's see what she gives us yeah, she gave us one piece of wood. I don't know if she's as good as maybe I once thought, but she's here. She's the only villager we have here, and we're gonna leave her alone for now because we're already gonna dip out of this one and go to the two final villages that we have in the snow biome, and I think these are probably two of my favorites. And so this all makes sense to you. This is our snow village that we were just at, but if you turn around, you can see Mount Everest over there. That's where the next two villages are, so we gotta do our little flying technique yet again and get all the way over to Mount Everest. This village right here is probably the most interesting one we have, and it's not for the reason you might think if you don't know about this one. It's a tiny little village and it's only level five, ready to get upgraded to level six, but we don't have the stuff right now. Not much going on here. We don't even have a roof on this building. Just an essence table, a crafting bench, and then a little under section for our villagers, as well as a stone breaker. The real magic of this village isn't up here though. It's down here and it's in the cave. By far, one of my favorite builds of the entire series lies inside of this cave. And it's in the form of our 100% safe snow village cave. The lighting is a little bit broken in here, but as you can see, there's a bunch of fire places that are placed inside of the ice that makes this whole thing lit up or at least it used to now the lighting is like i said a little odd but as we move around this place it is still gorgeous even though it's not as lit up a ton of room and yeah the only mobs that'll come in came in from the doorway that i forgot to close but once you close the door nothing will ever spawn in here i blocked off every single mob spawn so we have different rooms we have balconies for those rooms we have a cage for my pet bones which again yeah i closed off the spawn for bones so rest in peace but he used to live in here and this was his playpen if you don't know what i'm talking about i had a skeleton dog that i captured anyway moving along the fireplaces all over this place also help to keep you warm while you're walking around especially if you don't have on your heat protection charms and up in this top section is the other exit to this place if you come 
come out this way. Yeah, like I said, there's gonna be mobs outside of it because this entire cave isn't 100% safe, just everything inside of the gates. But I tried my best to still light the outside area up. And yeah, that is our 100% safe snow cave. Not much else to see here, and it's a little laggy. I think it's because of how many fireplaces are inside of the walls. Epic crafting bench, stone breaker, and a chest. And then we got our other crafting items down under here. But that's our snow village. The most devastating part of this is the fact that you can't place an actual village in here. If LEGO Fortnite ever decides to change that, this village will become a lot more alive, and obviously we're gonna get villagers down here. I think it's probably the most fun village that I have until they add more biomes to the game eventually. But yeah, that is that. Let's get out of this cave for now so we can make it over to the final village that I'm gonna be showing you in today's video. There's one more that I didn't show in this video. It's a work in progress and also a ginormous project that I'm working on. So I'll leave it alone for now, but as you can see, we have this, the Giga Village. The Giga Village. Honestly, I might just keep calling it that. That's kind of funny. But this one took me about 2,000 pieces of granite to make, and it's a ginormous, very complex web of staircases. If you go up the left side, we have our storage room for the place, but we do have a lot of resources, some of which I think I'm actually going to take back to my main village. We'll take some cheese, and never mind, actually. I thought I had granite here. I guess I don't. Anyway, if you take the other route on the staircase, you'll make it up to the very top of Mount Everest, and I think the most impressive part about this build is the fact that there's no build limit error at the top of my screen. There's a lot of building going on here across this entire thing, and I'm not sure how there's not a building error, but there's not, which we won't complain about. This village is as glitched as my ocean village, meaning that it doesn't upgrade. I should have the XP to do it. Unfortunately, it doesn't let us. So this is our newest village project that we've been working on, so don't expect it to be completely done, but as you walk up through the main double doors, you're met with this beautiful staircase, and it's also a staircase that leads you up all of the floors. But first off, stopping up on the second floor, you can see that there's no walls here. This is meant to be kind of like a patio section, also most likely where I'll end up migrating all of the workstations to. Speaking of which, we can slot in a crafting bench here for now, and then I'll put the oven on the other side. Yeah, we need to figure out how we can get villagers here, because I want them to start working on this one. I would love for this to be my main village that I actually live at in the snow. This is the third floor with a bunch of windows, and then if you come up to the fourth, it's a double balcony type vibe, and we ended off the build here last episode, actually. So if you're interested in seeing how the skyscraper all came together, just check out the last video on my channel. The next part of my plan for this is to add walls that go down the side here because at the moment when we do our little flyby it looks super empty on this underside and I don't think it needs to it could definitely benefit from some walls so we'll do that but not right now since like I said I don't have any granite why is there a hole in the wall right there we must fix that and fun fact if you guys didn't know you can actually build while you glide so that kind of helps a lot especially if you don't have a grapple but yeah flying away from it this is our giga village that I think we're gonna keep working on and probably end up living at but today's video was all about showing you guys our journey so far it's our 900k special and I wanted to just highlight everything that we've done in this beautiful survival world that we have going on and I'm not just saying this it's genuinely only the beginning make sure you guys are subscribed especially if you watched until the end and you're not and you enjoyed the video I would love to have all of you guys along on this journey but that's been it for me today it's been you boy Kaz thank you so so much for watching all the way until the end of this one I will catch y'all later peace